Hey there guys, this is Inkivit Rooldeck and these are the biggest tech failures of 2016 coming up. Batteries Lithium ion has been the go-to technology for batteries powering consumer electronics for decades, but faulty lithium ion battery cells were blamed for two high profile product safety hazards this year, exploding hoverboards and Samsung Galaxy Note smartphones. The defects led schools to ban the use of hoverboards on campus and Samsung to recall more than 2.5 million Note 7 smartphones. Lithium ion has stuck around for so long because it's cheap and easy to reproduce. Yet this year's explosive episodes combined with the persistent complaint that smartphone batteries don't last very long raise questions about whether the industry should shift towards advanced battery technologies that have been in development for years. Samsung Safety Record Samsung Safety Record took a black eye from more than just those combustible cell phones. The company also recalled 2.8 million defective washing machines in the United States that were prone to abnormal vibrations that could cause injury. In addition, Samsung's Galaxy Note 7 a recall was so poorly handled that the company had issued a second recall, then killed the product after it failed to diagnose and fix the problems both times. The two major product defects made one thing clear. The tech giant needs to fix its quality assurance protocols to ensure that consumer safety is a priority and not just crank out big, bright screens on phones or fast spin cycles on washers. Fake news and abuse on social media During the presidential campaign, Facebook, Twitter and Google faced mounting criticism for letting fake news propagate on their platforms potentially influencing Americans to cast their votes based on misinformation. Twitter was also separately criticized for its Saturn approach for dealing with abusive tweets, including racist attacks and threats of violence. All the internet companies took steps towards combating fake news and hateful speech, but the polarized election underscored the cost of internet freedom. When the web resembled the wild, wild west, the consequences can be dire. Virtual Assistance Google put artificial intelligence in the spotlight this year when it introduced Home, a smart speaker that is its response to Amazon's Echo, Allo, a messaging service that leverages AI, and Pixel, a smartphone that heavily relies on the virtual assistants. Despite all hype, all virtual assistants, including Google's assistant, Apple, Siri, and Amazon's Alexa, continued support this year. In rigorous test, they all failed at obvious tasks. For example, Alexa initially couldn't say who was playing in the Super Bowl, even though she was featured in a Super Bowl commercial. Google Assistant couldn't book a dinner table or order delivery food. And Siri was unreliable at giving map directions. Virtual assistances are poised to get smarter as we use them more. But consumers shouldn't let virtual assistances be a major factor in what they buy just yet because the assistants are all pretty dumb. So thanks for watching guys, if you like this video, please like this video, share this video and subscribe to my channel, Tool Tech. Until then, continue improving.